destiny has always played a big role in my life. I think from going early on to Lookout Mountain in Alabama and learning to let go of the material things and just let things happen. Also, not being afraid to take risks. So here I came to France on June 16th of 1980, not really knowing how to speak French. So it's quite amazing how two days after my arrival in Aix-en-Provence, I met a young French guy who was asking me for directions for the town of Gardan. And now, 39 years later, and three sons later, I'm still with the same French guy that I met on that day of June 18th, 1980. So destiny served forth my life on a silver platter, and I could not walk away from it. To follow the intuition that this guy was the guy for me was a huge leap of faith, including the fact that no one around me thought that he was the guy for me. And they told me. And little by little, step by step, as my vocabulary opened more and more, I was able to understand what his past was like, and I could describe my past and my three sisters and my father, that my mother had died when I was a child. And as the months went by and the veil was raised so that we could really understand each other, it seemed that destiny had played a card that I could never have imagined. Because I had been the mother of my three sisters for all those years since the age of eight years old. And my father had raised me. So all that I had in me and all the decisions that I made came from the way a man would make decisions. Well, I found this very handsome, young, very masculine man who had all the mother in him, exactly what I had not had. And as he revealed his past, I realized he had been the father figure of his five siblings. And yet he was raised completely by his mother. And all the gentleness, all the maternal goodness that she had was in him. And what I yearned for most, which I had no idea I yearned for this, but it felt like a balm, a comfort, a safe place being with him. It was the mother in him that drew me in. And it must have been the father in me that drew him to me. And we were right for each other, even if everything on the exterior part of our lives looked incongruous and not possible to cultures, to languages, two different levels of society having been raised in two different ways. Everything looked impossible, but no destiny knew better. It knew that this could work because the inner workings of each one of us needed the other. <laughs> 